LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, but have different retainer clips underneath the keys. To help you find the correct repair video for your keyboard, we've created a searchable database. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, enter your laptop brand and model number, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on View Videos. A list of all compatible videos will appear. Select the retainer clip model that matches your keyboard. That's all, you're now ready to repair your laptop keyboard. For this keyboard, we will be showing the removal and reattachment of the H key for standard size keys, right control for wider set keys, and F8 for the top row and smaller keys. For removal of a standard size key, use a tool or your finger and apply gentle upward pressure behind the upward right corner until the keycap removes itself. To remove the retention clip, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, insert a tool beneath one of the top corners, apply gentle upward pressure, and continue along to the other side until the clip is removed. For reattachment, begin with your retention clips. There are two notches at the top of the bottom clip and two holes at the top of the top clip. To assemble the clips, insert the top clip through the bottom, lining up the holes with the arms, and lay the clips flat. You will then hook from the top down to the bottom, a small push, place your keycap on top of the clips with a firm press, and it is reattached. For removal of the wider set keys, take your tool or finger and apply gentle upward pressure starting at a corner around the edge of the key, taking care to be very gentle as to not break the clips or the key cap itself. If necessary, run a tool around the edge of the key cap to separate from the metal arms. Then apply pressure to separate from the retention clips. The retention clips may come out alongside the key cap, but if they don't, that's totally fine. We'll go over removal. To remove the metal arms, simply lift and push one end to the side, push the other way, and the clip is removed. Repeat with the opposite arm, push to the side, the opposite side, and both are gone. To remove the retention clips, support the bottom of the clip with your finger and apply gentle upward pressure to one of the corners and continue along to the opposite side until the clip is removed. For reassembly, you will begin with your retention clips with the slightly rounded notched edge at the top of the bottom clip and two arms with a notch between them at the top of the top clip. To assemble the clips together, insert the top clip through the bottom clip, lining up the holes with the arms, lay the two flat, then using the metal hooks here and here, lay down bottom first, push down the corners, reattach the metal arms using the holes here and here, hooking in one side followed by the other, and laying the arm flat. Repeat with the opposite arm. Laying down flat, making sure both sides of the arm are through the hole. You will then take your keycap, place on top of the arms and clips, giving it a firm press around the edges, and the key is reattached. For removal of the smaller top row keys, use your tool or finger to apply gentle upward pressure to the upward right corner to remove the keycap. To remove the retention clip, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, insert your tool underneath one of the corners, apply gentle upward pressure, 
continuing along the top of the clip until it's removed. For reassembly, begin with your retention clips. On the bottom clip, there is a small upward facing notch towards the top. On the top clip, there's an opening for the notch along with two small bumps on the sides of the arms here towards the top of the clip. To assemble the clips, feed the top clip through the bottom, lining the arms up with matching holes, then lay flat, then hook from the top with a small push at the bottom. Take your keycap, place on top of the clips, firm press, and the key is reattached. We'll now show you how to remove a laptop key. Simply pull on the edge of the key in a gentle but firm motion. Lift up and remove the key. It's that simple. If your key is loose and not sticking properly to your keyboard, your retainer clips are likely broken. This issue can be fixed by replacing your retainer clips. Replacement laptop keys and retainer clips can be purchased at LaptopKey.com. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.